Okay, so tell me a little bit about yourself and like how you got started in your acting career. You know, what was that all about? Yeah, well, as we just uh, or as I just learned, we both live in uh, Seattle or for me, the Seattle area in Bellevue. Um, I, I let's see, let's I was I became a paraplegic when I was 14 years old. I was in a car accident and broke my back and I've been a wheelchair user ever since. In high school, after my accident, I remember being interested in acting and, and modeling, and it was something that I wanted to get into. And my mom was like super encouraging of it. And what's so funny, like looking back on it, it's not like I knew any other wheelchair users that were actors or models, but I had this in my mind, I was kind of like, well, why not? Why couldn't I? And that my mom had that same outlook as well. So I remember her calling, like looking up in the yellow pages, like this was in the the 90s. Um, so I remember her looking in the, you know, the yellow pages and she found uh, a local agent in our area and called her. And the next thing I knew, we had a meeting with her and, um, and then she was representing me and I had to go get photos made for my comp card and she sent me out on auditions and I remember booking a couple things through her like an industrial video for a store so I played just like a shopper and then I remember being in a commercial what where I played a student in a classroom and I actually transferred out of my wheelchair into a desk and so in the commercial you couldn't even tell I was disabled so it started then and then when I went to college I went to Oglethorpe University in Atlanta. I originally thought I wanted to go into broadcast journalism. And as part of that major, I took a theater class and then I just fell in love with that class and my professor and um, all the other students. And, and then that was it. I was, I then became a, a theater major and started doing plays. And also at the same time, I started dancing with a physically integrated dance company called Full Radius Dance. They're still in Atlanta and um, they still perform. And so I started dancing, which was amazing and, and meeting other, met other dancers with disabilities and uh, that it was uh, very, very life-changing for me, the dance and acting and, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, I understand that you created a series called It's a Gimpy Life. So, you know, how did that project, you know, get established? Um, yeah. yeah. So My Gimpy Life is a YouTube series that I created over 10 years ago. Uh, one of my dear friends, Felicia Day, has a, ha has a really popular web series called Guild, which came out before my gimpy life and I had a part in her web series and it it got me thinking like why don't I create my own content uh I just you know this was over 10 years ago so there was less disability representation than there is now and so I, th I just thought I had an interesting perspective that that I know I wanted to see more of and so the show is loosely based around my experiences as an actor with a disability in Hollywood. Uh, and um, yeah, it was it was so great to do. And it was pretty amazing to see how the, like the disability community rallied around it. And it's opened up these conversations with you know, other other people with disabilities like, oh, that happened to me too. Oh, this happened to me. And and I, I still have people that tell me that they saw that show like soon after they were injured and it helped them through that time. So it was just, it's just kind of like amplified that need of, we need more content, disability content out there and how needed that is. And thankfully I feel like we're, we're slowly seeing, seeing more of it, uh, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Are you guys still doing it? The web series? <laughs> No, where we we are not doing it anymore. But they're mm -hmm. all there's nine episodes on YouTube. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, my Gimpy Life uh, YouTube channel. 
All right. So, because I see in like a lot of the other movies that I've seen, like they carry that same message, but in a different way. I remember I saw I Feel Pretty, um, which is a movie, um, you know, that stars Amy Schumer and it talks about, you know, some of her struggles, you know, as a woman, you know, like there's this idea of like um, when you, you know, how you see like those cover models on TV, like, and they're, they're always, oh, you have to be beautiful, you have to be this and that, and just kind of the movie kind of carries that sort of message, at least that's how I kind of took away from it, so what I'm basically asking is, how does that translate to, um, it's my gimpy life, is it about, like, self-confidence, is it about self-worth, what, what are some of the key themes in that web series? Yeah, for me, it was just, for me as a, you know, as a wheelchair user, figuring out to navigate, nav navigating a world that's not where you don't feel included and where other people treat you differently. I mean, there's a lot of scenes in the series, um, you know, taken from my, my own life, like the awkward auditions I've had where the the audition space hasn't been wheelchair accessible. So I had to roll down a back alley and the casting director met me down in the alley and I had an audition in, you know, a really weird, awkward space or, you know, the cold open to one of the episodes is a, a stranger, a guy just comes up to me and out of nowhere asks me if I can have sex. So when I say, yes, I can, he's like, oh, cool. You want to go out sometime? And it's just, so it's, it's more about, I think, navigating a world where you don't feel like you fit in and others treat you like you're not a, a human, a person and uh, figuring all that out on top of also being an actor in Hollywood, which, which is, which is, you know, um, has its own, uh, its own thing, you know, trouble navigating that world as well, but, and then also being an actor. So I feel like it's that it's, uh, figuring all all that out how to navigate all of that mm -hmm. yeah so what kind of work um I want to switch gears a little bit what kind of work do you do outside of the acting community because I understand you work in the disability community as well yes so I work for new mobility magazine which is a lifestyle magazine for wheelchair users i am their media columnist and i manage their social media and um, i write profiles on you know various people in the disability community and i do that and so that's like outside of acting and i'm also on the board of directors of seattle public theater and then, yeah, I am also a mom to a seven, almost eight year old. Oh, that's, that's, that's nice. Yeah. Um, that's it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Um, so like, um, I want to ask you like this question of, you know, what has been going on in the arts industry in terms of like having people with disabilities within that sort of umbrella, like what sort of trends have you seen um, in that? aspect yeah I am seeing just more disability representation I like on new mobility yesterday I just reposted this wonderful commercial uh Jan Sport backpacks uh which I used to have a Jan Sport backpack in high school uh they just came out with an adaptive backpack line where the backpacks fit on the back of your wheelchair uh and the commercial they put out on Instagram, which is amazing, was produced by a wheelchair user and all the actors in it, besides a couple smaller parts are all wheelchair users. That's huge. You never, you would not have seen that like 10, like I was injured 27 years ago. You definitely wouldn't have seen, it, seen that 27 years ago, or maybe not even 10 years ago, maybe not even five years ago. But the fact that um, companies like big can companies like Jansport or are making a adaptive, um, uh, uh, making their products adaptive and then hiring, you know, somebody in that community to produce their commercial and hire actual actors in that community to show the product is, is, is huge. That's just an example. And I think there's a ton more, but, um, I think we're slowly, it's, we're, we're, we're seeing more of it 
and it's and uh which is which is really exciting to see mm -hmm. like my last question here is how do you like keep that up how do you uh, like encourage people with disabilities to you know be more represented in the arts industry what are some of the things that um that you can that you can do to like um like recruit and encourage you know people with disabilities you know to try to you know to dive into the art industry more like so what um can you do in that regard yeah it is i mean yeah i think it it it, it i feel like we need people with disabilities in all different aspects of the arts um you know of arts uh behind the scenes, if you're interested in writing or producing, or then of course acting, or even like you as a journalist who reports on it too. It's all, I feel like all of these things are so important. I, it can be, I know it can be kind of hard, like figuring out where, where to start. And um, I feel like if you can find other people with disabilities who are in that field, field or have, um, I mean, and that's one of the great things right now with social media is we have more access to, to that. Um, cause mm -hmm. I think that can be helpful. Like I have found so much strength and knowledge and just, um, you know, just being, putting myself around other, other people with disabilities and I've found it so empowering and then it's just whatever it is you're interested in, you just got to study it and do it and just try to be the best you can at it and put yourself out there. And, um, and yeah, I think you just got to like, I think go for it. I, I've always tried to see my disability as a, a positive thing. It's something that gives me a different perspective. It makes me unique. I've, I think embracing it and, and what we bring is is so important and it's so needed so trying to hold on to that um it, it can be helpful because there are the ups and downs in this industry and it can be really tough and hard and um so finding finding that and the joy and the fun in it yeah yeah i think that's important i also tend to look at it in a positive way where i don't see it um i don't see my disability as like um I don't see it as like a limitation, but rather as like a, a different mindset um, and different approach to my outlook of my life. So it's important to have that, you know, framework. Um, yeah.